welcome to Two Ordinary Nerds, a podcast where two ordinary nerds talk about ordinary nerdy things. Like... Oh, we're starting? That's going to be your intro? Yep. Alright. So we are talking about what... Com- uh, this episode is going to be... What books or comics have you read that you wish to make for them to be a movie or a TV show? And why are you choosing the, uh, the movie format or the TV show format? So, and, but first of all, we have to say, what are we drinking? Oh, today, we're drinking on Big Wave Golden Ale by Kona Brewing Company. Yeah, I like it. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a, a nice good. summer beer, like I could totally dip, see myself. Oh, it's from Hawaii. That's cool. I've never had Hawaii beer. Is it? Yeah, it's from Hawaii. Huh? Um, but I could totally see myself drink, you know, hanging out on the beach, drinking this, even though we don't have beaches here. But well, you know, maybe the deck, mm-hmm. you know, having a good time. But I can see myself on a really big deck drinking that. I can see you too. A really long deck. Yeah, I like it. it has like this little light, little fruity yeah. taste in it. It's really good. I'm gonna give it a good four beers. Four. I'd agree with that. And four. I will drink four of the six pack. So, let's search through the pages to see what will work good in the silver and gold disc- in the golden screen. Join us. Fuck it. Fuck it. Alright, so I definitely have some 1970s pornos that I think would make it great. <laughs> I'm going to jump in yeah. with mine, and, we'll, and I will go with Saga. Saga is a, it's a, it's a comic book from Image. It's done by Fiona Staples and Brian Bunga. Bunga? It's I will make this comic into a, into a nice uh, like TV show. I think it will, it will work good with a TV show. Would it be cost effective though? Because this looks like it would need a lot of. CGI. It would be an HBO one. And it's it's fantasy. It has to be HBO. It has a lot of nudity in it too, and sexual. So it's not a kids comic book. It's not kid friendly. It's it's basically about uh, there's there's two rivalries and there's two and basically they're they're in war, and these two basically it's like a Romeo and Juliet where. They fall in love and they have this kid, which is a mix, and anybody wants to kill that kid, and the parents find, you know, tr- you know, run away, try to, you know, find peace, and everybody's chasing them. It's very weird. It's very different. When he says it's weird, um, there's a guy that's holding this girl up with, and he has a TV for a head. Yeah, those are like the robots. Oh, so it's a robot. Yeah, they're all. It's, it's a very weird comic. It's, it's great. It's it's fantastic. There's a lot of cliffhangers, so I think it will be good for season wise. Like mm. it goes really good with a season wide perspective that, like basically, like volume will leave you will leave you as a cliffhanger. But what's yeah? As Lewis is going through the pages of one of the volumes. And it, he it, is, it goes from them holding. There's this pregnant lady that's completely naked, yelling at a dude that looks like a human version of a demon. And then out from her belly look, comes an actual demon. And then you go two pages later, and there's a TV robot guy choking out a hamster. It's not a hamster. It's more like a seal, isn't it? It could be a seal hamster. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty different. I love it. It's one of my favorite comics. It's, it's unique. It's different. It's fresh. You don't see it very often. It would be a big budget uh, TV screen, but I can see it being. I can be. I can see it being amazing. Yeah, it looked like pretty cool. You know what? Another thing I would think that would be good would be your other your other comment that you read mm-hmm. with the guy that lives here in Kansas City. That, that would be a. Yeah, that would be my. Well, that's gonna be my second. Oh, you want me to go? Well, we'll come back to that. So, first one. I would have to say, since I would say we'll probably do like two or three each, but my first one I would have to say would be my favorite book, which is the Iliad. One of my favorite books is the Iliad. 
Um, there's movies on shows about there's it. Home, there's movies, but not TV shows. And if you read that book, the you know you have the Troy, the movie Who? Troy. What? Who's Troy and why did they have a movie? Yeah, but with Brad Pitt as Achilles. Mm-hmm. And that movie's really good, but it's totally nowhere. I mean, the only they get like the main parts okay from the book, like uh, so, Homer and Achilles fight, and then of course, and they have the, we already have Homer. And it's the Simpsons. Yeah, but this would be good as an HBO show because. There's a whole line of, you know, because they have the gods fight over who they're going to side with. Are they going to side with, you know, Achilles' side? Or are they going to side with the Trojans? And it's really interesting to see them. And then they come down and help in battles. And some of the Greeks are like, hey, you can't fucking be here fighting on this battle. Get out of here, you fucking god. Like, they're just talking to gods like, oh, hey, I'm not surprised you're here. But so you want... You- you think on HBO you would have done it strictly like the book or you try to be more realistic with no gods it would be cool with gods like that movie Immortals how they had the gods in there it would be kind of cool because they have an interesting relationship and they could make it to where like they would you know just come down every now and then and like because the gods have their own section their own story arc that is in there and then of course every now and then they come down to persuade kind of persuade the Greeks or the Trojans to go one way or the other. So you just want the Iliad? Yeah, I mean, of course, there's... You they want the would Iliad have, or do you want the Odyssey? Iliad. Well, it'd be cool if they could do a whole thing where they could do the Iliad and the Odyssey, but... Because I think the Odyssey has been a TV show. No, it was a movie also. Huh. I swear. That wasn't... But it would be good on HBO because it's obviously really graphic. They kind of curse in there. I think it'd be really fun on there. I don't know. I don't know. I, for me, it's. I mean, it could be good, but I mean, it's it's one of those that it's gonna be like, it's gonna be a great. They have to portray it so realistic. Like I, I think there's gonna be. They have to be some. They're gonna have the problem where you do. They're not gonna be historically accurate to the age, but at the same time, with the gods, is gonna be like. Have you not seen their their most critically acclaimed show called Game of Thrones? They don't really need to be but realistic. They don't have the gods popping up and in and then there. Literally had a ghost demon come out of a woman's yeah, vagina. But that was not a god. They talk about the gods. No, they but talk it, about they them. talk to the gods. Yeah. But it, the, the gods don't talk back. Yeah, but it would just be like I'm fine with something like that, where the gods are out of the picture, and you can see, oh, maybe they're influencing or not. But I'm not so sure if I'm gonna go. But they with. could do like the. Um, Clash of the Titans, where, you know, like, how Liam Neeson and all the, the gods, like, Zeus and all of them are up there in whatever the hell, uh, Mount Olympus, and you s- fuck that is. fucking mountain, not Vesuvius, that's what killed all the Greeks. Yeah, but you know that Zeus is not gonna interfere. Correct, Zeus doesn't interfere. You know, there's a, you know, it's... But still, he has a huge part in that story. Yeah. yeah. And all of them do, so it, it, you can't just... I like how Troy depicts it as a realistic thing, but they cut out a lot of the good fights. I, mean, a I, lot can, of, I can see it. I can see. I can really see it being a there, TV show. There's just a, it's just like Lord of the Rings. At the end, they they took out the scoring of the Shire. Yeah. If I could have them, hopefully they do like a George Lucas thing where Peter Jackson loses his mind, and like ten years from now they're like, okay, we're gonna re-release these, and we're gonna have. Add more content. I'm like, please do the scoring of the Shire. But I'm Ben Frodo and all the other stuff. He looks super, super fucking old. What well, the not fuck <laughs> not Elijah Wood. That dude still looks like he's yeah, thirteen. Yeah, the red doesn't. I guess uh, uh, Legolas still looks young. Oh uh, yeah, Orlando Bloom does. Arvin does not. Arvin looks like he's not in the stuff. Yeah, but they wouldn't be in the scoring of the Shire. Only, it's only the Hobbits. Saruman is dead, isn't he? Oh yeah, they can't do it because Saruman's dead. Fuck. So. Fucking in. I love those movies. They are my favorite movies. But fuck, fuck, fuck. You, that part just... After... I wish I would have never read the books after that. Because, like, I saw the movies first. But this is really good. And then I read the books. And I'm like, god damn it. Yeah. My second a comic, I'm going to go with good old Southern Bastards. It's a comic, on, again, from Image. If you don't get it, you can... You're finally understanding my... Slowly appreciate your image, com- image comics and leaving aside uh, Marvel and DC here because 
They already have TV shows and movies out. Yeah. They have cool. ample, especially Marvel having another one come out this this fall. Yeah. Two. They have two new coming. Yeah, but I mean, it's more or less like what ha- what hasn't been done. Yeah. And, you know, the Marvels and the DCs, it's just a matter of time between when a Hulk happens or something like that happens. So you're just going to Hulk is kind of happening with the Thor movie, but... Yeah, but I mean, a true kind of Hulk. So it's a little bit different. So my this has a message from Jason Aaron, who is from here, lives here in Kansas City, and Jason Latour, who is the uh, the artist. Anybody who knows me knows that I love this comic a lot. It's a great story. I can see it to being a Fox. I can see it being an HBO. I can see it can. Is it graphic, or do you think it should be? It's like, graphic, but you can. It's it, more physically graphic than F, FX is pretty lenient on stuff now. I mean, I, there's all their shows. I'm hearing they're dropping f bombs. Like yeah, that. so but I mean, it's they can make it happen. Or I mean, EMC, I can see it make it happen. It's. I can see this kind of being happened. It has some sexual parts, but you can always, you know, change the camera and change it. And it's more like physical. And basically, I think it will work perfectly. They're actually in talks about it. They've been in talks about making this a show for a long time. So I'm pretty sure whenever this happens, my first edition will worth a little bit more than I'm that they do right now. All sign, by the way. <laughs> But basically, it's about this southern uh, uh, town in, I think it's Louisiana, that basically is run by a football coach. It's one of those towns that there's nothing happens, and there's only, you know, the only thing that have, have, the only thing that has is, uh, is, uh, yeah, it's only football, like high school football. So the high school coach basically has all the town, basically, blackmail or afraid to do anything about it. And this guy comes back to town and gets into a ruffle with them, and the story begins. Anybody who hasn't read it, I recommend it. They're, you know, they're volumes. You can get the bigger edition. They have, like, four or five volumes in them. It's, it's interesting. It's dark. It's good. It's, like, the, the, the art style is very unique. What, what's the overall arc? So basically, the guy comes in, and he basically gets killed by the by the guy. And well, and you know, it's there's only like five or six volumes. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's so there's you know it's still going, and it's still going strong. It's just it it's basically corruption in the South where Friday uh, Friday Night Lies meets you know corruption and how you know Tanda has an a uh, it's, you know, it's, I guess it's hard to explain without revealing major details, but it's, because it's just so, you know, there's, I think there's like five volumes, six volumes, so. Yeah, we're not really going into, well, spoilers here. Yeah, so I'm trying to keep it a spoiler free for anybody who reads it. It's, it's a great book. It works perfectly with a TV setting. Perfectly. I mean, it's, it's almost look, it's almost like if they intended for it to be. It's kind of like, you know, Sons of Anarchy. I mean, that, Yes, it yeah. has like this Sons of Anarchy meets a Friday, Night, a Friday Night Lights. Yep. That's exactly what it is. So if you can produce that, you can produce this. It's a great show. It's well, a great comic. It will be a great show if they ever produce it. But I'm, I'm not sure they're waiting it for it to be, have enough start to see if it's going to be able to last and if it's going to last. Because there's only six volumes and that in comic book world it's it's a good it's a amount. Baby. But it's, it's a good amount. But it's still, you know, it's still a not quite for a whole entire show. It, it, right now, they have maybe almost ending the first season. It could have been so. And Saga has at least two, maybe three seasons right now. But I think it, I like it. It's one of my favorites. Which, you're next. My next is an audio drama. I've talked about it before on the podcast. It's called We're Alive. And I know everyone's like, oh, we have a lot of zombie shows. Blah, blah. This show's a little different. This audio drama is a little different than a, uh, you know, your Walking Dead or your Resident Evil. It's kind of a mix in between, but it's more so about like a, 
it's about these guys who they get called into the army. The one, the main character is at college, and he gets called in, and they all meet at the army base, and everything's happening. I mean, the, the, everything's going to shit. Zombies are kind of, right. They're like they have no idea what's going on, and so the arc of the story is you have to figure out how they're going to go through deal with the zombies and they have you know and then they also have someone that's kind of like Negan in a sense but they're they have like they call them the Maulers and they're they're like a rebel group but they don't have like 15 million different villains like Walking Dead does they have just this is the main villains you know human wise that they have to get through and so this story arc is you know you meet a bunch of characters like there's a character named Bert which is this old dude who used to own a he's a pro- professional marksman and he's uh-huh. a Vietnam vet and he used to own a bunch of gun stores so he's pretty funny and he gets this vendetta with Scratch which is the main villain and this is going to be a movie or a TV show well that's my thing it could be like a trilogy of movies because there's so, an, we're talking about like, you can have it however you want to have if I could have it the way I want to have it, I would have it on TV. Like, if I can be sure that the whole series would be able to be played out. Because they have the whole series. I mean, they keep coming but out with... Would, would it be enough for a season? So do you think it would be played out as a, tr- as a trilogy? I could think they could do, like, four to five movies seasons. Movies get the good... You know, you get more money if you make them. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, the cool thing about this is, like, it's not really... It wouldn't need to be like high budget. I mean, kind of like you know, Walking Dead. I'm sure it costs a lot to make that, but they don't. Oh, yeah, but it does. they Almost special effects. Yeah. yeah, this one. I mean, they would have special effects, but they, you know, there's times where they don't see zombies for a couple of chapters, and then there's times where there's a bunch of them, or they're hiding in a mound of dead bodies. So what's the difference between that and, and Walking Dead? This show actually. I mean, they actually know find out what causes. The outbreak, and they know they at the end they they stop it, um, they they cut it at the neck. So then the rest of the, you know they they have like at the end of the series, they have a little part where they talk about what's been happening the past ten years after they finish it, and it's they're just doing cleanup basically, mm-hmm. and so, but they they figure out how to take care of it and Walking Dead they don't really know what causes it and there's not really an outlook to finish not finish it but like you know nip it in the butt the only uh-huh. way to do that is because everyone in Walking Dead has the virus as soon as you die you become a walker um, and in this one when you die you don't really you don't become one I mean if you get bit you do but if you die you, you just you die. die yeah and it's really neat so it's not technically a zombie yeah, well, if you get bit, you get, you become you yeah. But some is you, you die and then yeah. you raise. This one has like more kind of like a Resident Evil twist to it. Also, like so you get infected. Yeah, you get infected, but then there's also like there's some zombies that that this the main villain that created all the zombies. He controls them and he makes these super zombies that can jump. They have crazy nails. They can. Well, yeah, but, but and, you can, if you die. You, even if, if you die and they bite you, can you do you rise up? If they bite you, if you're dead and then they bite, you uh, die and, you, and somebody bites you. And if somebody bites oh you, no, you're once dead. you're dead, you're dead. So they're but infected. If, so yeah, they're not zombies. Yeah, technically speaking. And then there's some people that are slow turners, some people that are obviously way fast turners. Um, yeah, that's it. it, it like, but, a, like a virus, almost. Like some people get sick really quick. Some people get sick really quick. The reason why I like it so much is because the way they did the story is it's not monotonous like there's a part where all the army guys like they go to an army base and they find out like okay we have to you know their army sergeant that's there says hey you know you got i know what you guys have been going through but you guys are still in the military so you have to fall in line so then they leave all their other friends and they have to go to another area so the whole ple- people get split up kind of like in walking dead but it's way cooler when they come back together and it's a uh, it's a really good audio drama that is just I would make for a great TV show I think um, and they have a bunch of little different story arcs that come out every year mm-hmm. now yeah but the overall story is done so and like another thing like they have an Asian girl that has a katana like in Walking Dead of course but she cuts and she realizes that like 
it's not that easy. Like, she just had some fucking random katana, and she tries to cut some a, a zombie's head off, and it doesn't... Yeah, it didn't. It, 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 you have to. It takes a few swings to do it versus like Michonne. That's just it's like a clean cut. You know, it, it takes more than that. Well, it has to be like the katana where it has to be super sharp. Mm-hmm. Yeah, point number one. And if you chop a bunch of shit, it's going to be dull as fuck. Yeah, you need to sharpen it. You have a blunt blade, but yeah, it's a pretty good show. Um, I think it would be great as a just TV. Um, my third one is going to be a movie, and it's going to be Invincible. Also from Image, it's a Kirkman Walk and Walker story. I think they are gonna make they're making that into a TV show. I want a movie. It so it's basically it's a superhero movie, and I just wanna give it to Ed Leo. Just flip the pages. Basically, it's about it is this kid that realizes that he's a superhero, and then he realizes that his dad is an alien. And uh, and it's 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 very violent. It's very gory. Jesus. <laughs> I'm showing him one of the most uh, important parts of the show. It's when uh, two main characters fight. I know it's it's pretty bloody. For any of you that have seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2, it's like Star-Lord and um, what's his face's Ego? Ego's fight just ten times more graphic. This is hilarious. Uh Uh-huh. So uh, I, I, I can see it being a good trilogy. Yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't follow the comics to the dot, but it would yeah. be that would be the first finishing of the first one. That like what you guys saw will be the last. I will, I will end the. It will be a good trilogy. It will end a little bit short. The first one, you know, will be him realizing and fighting the fighting one of his family members. The second one will be, you know, him growing older, and the third will be the. Final act. How does he? He's an alien. He's basically, oh. he, basically, his dad is Superman, and his mom is Lois Lane, and it's basic superhero. It's more, almost like a parody of superheroes because you know, dad is well, his, his name is Invincible, so basically, he's like Superman. Nobody can beat him. Like he's super strong and he's super fast, and he does and. And there's people that get powers and have and there's villains and there's superheroes and but taken to mature level like what would happen if, in reality almost like a a watchman without the politics okay so it, it it goes to that level where the fights are gruesome like but it's still like not like like a really rated R movie like a really rated R superhero. like Sin City yeah. Because Sin City's pretty graphic. So, it's fun, it's interesting, it has all this superhero appealing. I think it has to be a movie, just because superhero TV shows, I mean, I like The Flash, I like, you know, but I mean, unless it's a cartoon way, it doesn't work so well. Legion worked. For now. It's one season. No, let's go when, when, they, when they bump up the special effects to you. Because, you know, you can't... That's a bad thing with superheroes. Like, you know, when they're fighting and they punch through a city, you know, and the city starts to break, if it's a TV show, it, you can see the CGI. You can see how computerized it is. You can see it in the flash almost. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, yeah, so it looks cool. But if it's me, I want it to look amazing. I want it to look like Batman versus Superman when the city was... When they were fighting and you can see the smoke. I want that. I don't want... To be, to be, scared me I thought you were talking about the overall movie being amazing I was like are you sick no yeah. such effects were sick uh, yeah, they were good so I like I, I you know you hate it I am slowly being more like it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad yeah no I rewatched it it's still horrible no. but the super the, the fight scenes were good and the special I effects were great I would even one of the worst superhero movies it's, still, it's in the middle for me yeah, I mean, you, you got Daredevil you got Elektra. You got Ghost Rider. There's, there's Ghost Bob. Rider was better than Batman vs. Superman. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. The first Spider-Man movie was... Well, oh, yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah, but Spider-Man 3? Spider-Man 3 was definitely still better than Batman vs. Superman. I'm a, I, you know that I'm a Spider-Man fan. I can tell you right now. Spider-Man 3 was just not better. They fucked up Venom. I just you fucking... cannot fuck up Venom. Uh, it's easy. You get a big motherfucker. A screw... Uh, uh, you know, big... 
scary motherfucker, and you put him in black super in black spandex. They, who did they get? What was this idiot's name? His name's Eddie Brock. No, no the <laughs> actor. The guy from that 70s show. Tober, Tophen Grace or something like that. Tobin or, yeah. Topher Grace. He sucked. He's a good actor, but he definitely was not. No, he was not a Venom. You, I, Eddie Brock has to... The Venom was a big motherfucker. Yeah. He, was, he was strong from the get-go. Good thing they picked Tom Hardy to do that. Although he's really short and Venom's kind of tall. Uh, I want to see that. I want to see Venom when it comes out. I really hope it's not like they're just beating around the bush and it is actually part of the MCU because I'm really... I don't like the fact that they're like, oh, Spider-Man's going to be in it, but it's not part of the MCU. I'm like, well, that doesn't make any logical sense. Like, why not just say it's part of the MCU, but not even have it? It doesn't matter. It could just be part of it. I think it's because they're trying to save it Mm -hmm. for the Guardians. To to bring him with the Guardians. To bring Venom and the Symbiotes with the Guardians. I think it's because legal issues with Sony owning well yeah so. but I mean it doesn't make it but if, if, if I don't want it to be from the MCU I want the MCU to follow the books full strips I want to see Spider-Man get the black suit and what I call what's going to be the next big Avengers half the Infinity Stones it's going to be the first Secret Wars and that's going to be the next one and this where you're going to see Black Spider-Man so but my, la- my last one okay is going to be, after the last one, I do have, I have two questions for right. our podcast, but not, I have one for now and then one for later. Um, so, my last one is, and they've already made a movie of it, and it's probably the worst movie ever made. The Room? No, Dragon Ball. I just okay. want a real Dragon Ball Z. I think it'd be cool if they make a movie. So, you're talking about live action? Because movies, there's a shit ton. Live action, yeah. Okay, live action. So. Yeah. Or TV series live action. This is where, you know, after listening, you talk about this, about your superhero show. I don't think there's just so much CGI that goes into, D- that would have to go into DBZ with, you know, powering up, with having to do, like, Kai Blast, with doing... An episode of just going, oh! Yeah. Oh, that, fuck, they need to fix that. Hopefully that doesn't, but... I really think, well, even like with characters, I mean, how do you create someone to look, you would have to have a motion capture suit to do Frieza or to do Cell because putting someone in a costume like that, or even Piccolo, I mean, because they did Piccolo on that Dragon Ball movie. So and like, he looked you're talking about like, jumping directly to Dragon Ball C. Well, no, what I think is what not they... Dra- not Dragon Ball. What I think that they could do is if they can do a series of movies, they could do like a... I mean, if they, they could... That is so big, and if they could get a following, they could do like a Marvel thing where they could do, or yeah, Marvel where they do like a, they could do start with Dragon Ball Z, and then so they could no do a, Dragon Ball. They could do a prequel movie of later of Dragon oh, so Ball. So you start with Dragon Ball Z, and then, then show, make the Dragon because they need to include Dragon Ball because they, it is important to the manga to show how Goku became Goku. I mean, if you don't, and Piccolo became Piccolo and Yamcha and. Y- Chow, Chow, Chow. Yeah. Gonna, yeah, I'd and be surprised if he shows up in Dragon even, Ball Z. Even Bulma, I mean... Bulma can show up in anything. Yeah, but... I, Bulma it, it, is important in Jamsha. I actually, you know... It, he I'm, is important in Dragon Ball, but he's not, no, he has no importance in Dragon Ball Z. I would be okay with even if they did like a, you know, a Dragon Ball movie. And then they did like Dragon Ball Z, three Dragon Ball Z movies where they did like... You oh, do so like three Dragon Balls and uh, three Dragon Ball Cs. Then you do three prequel Dragon Balls, or you could do one prequel Dragon Ball. Actually, like, there's a there's way there's like eight hundred episodes of Dragon Ball, so that would be impossible. I can say two. I can, I can say three prequels in Dragon Ball. Basically, the Red Army. Yep. Piccolo a uh, Piccolo and the Piccolo Junior. Yeah. That will be the three Dragon Balls. Dragon Ball C will be Freezer. No, well. They can do Raditz, Freezer, and 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 would sell and do not go and do not go to boot. Well, the thing is, is like if they could continue doing it, if they can make it successful, oh, Bruce, because if they have Dra- that, Vegeta, Freezer, there the first movie would have to be the Saiyan Saga. I mean, if there's just so much content in there, like you know, with Gohan becoming. Basically, even though he's still a child, a man, and like learning how to fight with Piccolo, and then like that would have to be one movie of like the Saiyan saga, like fighting Raditz, 
this leads to the Saiyans coming at the end, and then the climax of the movie would be them fighting Nappa and Vegeta, and then then the ending would be v- Goku defeating him and G- Vegeta leaving in the capsule. I'm and then the last... second movie would be them going to Namek and the oh, see, 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 Frieza, see, see. but at the end when they think you know you think it's over like oh hey go you know goku made it back or whatever then you can show the part you can change it up instead of having goku back first you could have him or back later you could have him back first and then trunks comes in and fucking dominates frieza again so so basically you kill frieza and then Freezer comes back, and Goku comes back, Freezer comes back, Trunk comes back? Yeah, change it. Instead of, yeah. It did, it would not, I, I don't know. Yeah. I like when, because when that happened, you think Goku's dead. Yeah. Or he's somewhere, you know. So I'm fine with that, you know, but I'm fine with, instead of that, just Trunks showing up at yeah, because it's a movie, so you can always cut. They're gonna have to cut just content. Cut, you just, just cut. I mean, they're this. gonna fucking cut you garlic cut Jr. Out. Coming back. Yeah, you just cut, and you think you basically. And then if super happens, then you can just. No, I wouldn't go with super. I just will go with you cut. You you end up the movie with us knowing if Goku or Freezer are dead. Okay. Yeah. Well, you you, you don't, you're assuming they're dead, and in the post credits, Goku you, does this. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go like that. I will just see the. Sh- the ship coming down and Trump's going. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, it's like the yeah. motion of the sword, and that's it. And just boom, leave for the next one, and in the next one, you start because there's no exposition. You don't need to tell anything, mm-hmm. and you do the. I mean, it's so long because yeah, you can have the, the, and, the, the, the android. To the end of Cell is fucking huge, and there's so much you good content. You had to cut off every single Android that said 17 and 18. Not even talk about... Is it 19? Or well, 19 it? has to be in it, because no. he has a big part in the Yeah, but game. I mean, you have to take him off. It's too long. Well, because that's another story. And another story. There will be yeah. Trunks coming back. Hey, Androids are showing are going to show up. Hey. Goku has a heart attack. You have to still put that in there because he fights the say, androids. I would, I would say Goku is going to come back, but when he comes back, it's going to be too late. Sort of thing. It's going to be too, because then you have to tell that then you know he's going to come back, but it's going to be too late. And we need to make them. We need to make the androids wait. And when the androids and, and make nineteen cell and cell will get the two androids superpower up, and then have Goku show up and fight with fight with them. And he was training all this time. I don't know because it would be or too, it's too long for three for three movies. For this is why it movie. should be a fucking show because there's just so much content. Because I, I seriously like the cell, like Android and Cell could be two separate movies. Like the cell the Android part could be one whole fucking movie. Like from there until like when Cell five movies for Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, like where where fucking Cell goes and when it gets to the point where Cell sucks up Android. Seventeen. That's where they could end, like a movie no, on a cliffhanger. Yeah, you know, be a cliffhanger. Like they have to end it when with. They have to end it with. They have to end it when, when Cell shows up, and have that as a. Tra- oh as yeah, a, as yeah. A, as, a, as a end credits thing, you can, and you can see the tail. Yeah. Movie, or you can see the. Yeah. Sucking a human being. Yeah, because that fur that. But he will look so fucking stupid in real life. Him and Piccolo fighting, that's like one of the best parts in that whole series. Like in the beginning, mm-hmm. when him and Piccolo are fighting. And Piccolo, like, losing on purpose. He loses on purpose and he has his arm fucked up and he's like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. And, and Piccolo, like, breaks his arm and pushes a new one and be like, no, I know everything I need to know. And the guy's like, and still like, what the fuck? And runs away. Yeah, and like, that's. A big complaint I have with Super is like Piccolo still trains, and yet he is just a complete. I mean, Frieza just is like dead. Well, I mean, she's been he's been training because he, no, he he basically doesn't train. Frieza is that no in tra- Super he is training. Like he states in Super in the new series, he says I've been training. Like he trains like that. That uh, he goes golden. But he's trained. Uh, yeah, I mean, but I mean that's that's golden he, Freezer. Golden Freezer was supposed to be the. 
and Super, when whatever the god wakes up, he's gonna go fight Freezer. Beerus? Beerus wake up, he's gonna fight Freezer. But it's like, no, the Saiyans, this Goku guy defeated them. Like, you're like, okay, well, let's go to Goku. But, and Piccolo, the bad thing of this type of, of, the, of Dragon Ball, it's, and you can see it now, it's. The continuity? Another kind of is like the level, like the mm. physical level between the Saiyans and the rest is just too huge. Now they're with the, this tournament, they're making that uh, Android Seventeen is a strong, is as strong as 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 Goku a god level, mm. and you know Freezer is now as, as strong as Goku uh, as Goku and Vegeta, and you know it's well. And they're, they're, they're pumping them up like shh, like to levels that are not imaginable. Krillin defeats basically Gohan in a tournament. Like, K- Krillin shouldn't be able to punch Gohan. He can turn Super Saiyan 2. He couldn't even touch him. But here, they make it where he can. Well, where, he go, where Gohan is basically able, where Krillin basically has a little chance to fight with him. Fights a little bit with uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Or Super Saiyan 4. Hey. God, a uh, blue uh, sand. He has a, true that Goku almost destroyed it, uh, destroyed him, but he fought a little bit. Like no, you know they, they just yeah, he's a god. Like there's no bumping way. up their, their level to huge amounts where. Although that would be a great way to end the Frieza movie. Like other than you know no, they yeah. well they don't they 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 can't. I mean, obviously, Dragon Balls are a huge part, but they don't talk about Krillin coming back until, like, a next movie or something. Like, you can't... You can do the end of... I don't know how you would do that, because, like, Krillin... That was my favorite. Always been. I like Krillin a lot. My, yeah. I would say my... Well, my favorite character is Tapion. Tapion? Which is from the movie 13. He was just such a cool character. Um, but I... Well... But I mean, it's, it's Super Saiyan two Gohan. It will be kid fun. Gohan is my favorite. But you will have to. I think it will be. It will be fun. But you will have to butcher, butcher the, yeah. the story. Yeah. Like you cut up. And you fuck GT. Up. We're not even included. No, GT is not canon. But you did. I wouldn't even touch Super. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. No Super. I would do Dragon Ball C. But I mean, I would do three movies, and that'll be. It's gonna be cut down. So it will be the first one has to be. I would think it would be ending with Vegeta. Second one will be Freezer. Third one. The third one will be the hard part. I would just even do a third one. Just do the first two. Just do the Freezer. Yeah. So, uh, maybe push it to three. And you push. You finish with Raditz. And you show that Vegeta and, and Nappa. You see the two little balls going to Earth. Or whatever the, the time it is. You see that. The last second movie will be in Gets Vegeta, and you and then you see the Frieza's tail, and third will be ending Frieza, and you leave with a little cliffhanger with Trunks as a fuck it. If they come out with another one, yeah, but fuck it, it would have to be a Marvel style. Like they would have to have so many fucking movies for that. Yeah, movie. but I mean it's impossible. So my last one, I know it's kind of different and kind of weird, but I will go with. Star Wars Legacy, which is a Dark Horse comics, is no longer canon anymore, unfortunately. But I think it will be a good way for Star Wars uh, for Star Wars to join the TV the silver screen. It's different. It's there's everything you ever want in a Star Wars movie. This comic has it. It has cool lightsabers fights. There's not a uh, there's different species and I think it could work it will be one of those that would need a shit ton of money and that's the only problem oh yeah but it's a fun it's a fun book people love it and unfortunately it's no longer canon so it will never happen but that's what I would like so my uh my question before we end since we're at our time my question is since we're talking about Spider-Man who cleans up Spider-Man's uh, Spidey cum all over the. No, I'm just kidding. The spider webs? Who, who cleans up the spider webs all they're over the city? The, they're biodegradable. They will fall off. That's what I thought. I thought that they hours as, as amount of hours. Yeah, that's what I thought. But 
I just wanted to make sure because I mean, they, otherwise it looked like Spider Man just fucking Looney. just all over. Well, but the, you can see his track going back home. Yeah, because you see the spider web's always going mm-hmm. in the same direction afterwards. But there you go. I think that's it. Follow yeah. us on Twitter and Two Dirty Nerds, Facebook, G, and if you want to email us, do email us at Two Dirty Nerds and Twitter or wait, where it's Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, whatever. Cheers, guys. Cheers.